That's right, fellas. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grizz. We're going to be doing the top five still missing features for endgame content here in Black Ops 4 Zombies. So if you go ahead and enjoy this, drop a like on today's video and drop me a comment on what kind of things I missed here in today's video. This is just going to be five things missing from the game of Black Ops 4 Zombies. Whether it's additions to something that we already have or just an entirely new feature altogether. Let me, let me know down in the comment section below. What do you need in Black Ops 4 Zombies to keep you interested? But to kick things off, we're going to start with number five, and this one is a party games playlist. The menu is very messy. It's very sloppy between Rush Mode and Gauntlet and Survival. Do you want to play it solo or do you want to play it with friends, co-op, public matches? It's very sloppy the way it's set up, so I think to make this easier, we need a party games playlist. Straight up called party games. In the past, Treyarch's done party games in multiplayer, Sticks and Stones, Gun Game, just a few instances, and there were also wager matches where we were able to wage our own COD points at the time. Of course, the COD points at that time were used differently than they are today, but still, we had COD points and today we have Nebulum Plasma. Black Ops 3, we had Liquid Divinium. This would have been the thing that we could have introduced some sort of wager match with and been gambling those. Who's going to get first place, second, and third? How are you going to get modifiers on these playlists? So for party games to be successful, there needs to be incentives, and I think wager matches would be perfect for that. Now moving on to number four, we have time played tier progression. This is a little bit of a controversial topic, but I'm going to go into it. Daily tier skip is not enough, and I think we need to be included in the black market a lot more. So with time played tier progression, we would be able to tier up while playing zombies for the current operation that's out there. We wouldn't be a part of the DLC contraband happening in the black market. And if we have to leave zombies and go play blackout or multiplayer, we're not living the zombies experience. And instead, we're living some kind of hybrid that's like blackout to begin with. But when it comes to gameplay, we want the gameplay to count. And I think where the controversy comes in, where the debate really comes in on the other side of this coin, is that people are going to blame glitching and glitchers out there are going to take full advantage of the time play tier progression but that's a very small group of zombies players the whole zombies community should not be punished and that is really the problem from Treyarch's point of view that the glitchers are going to wreck the whole experience for everybody we don't even have global leaderboards yet so why are we complaining about time play progression when it gives you such a clear incentive just to be here playing? There's more benefits that outweigh the odds. But this brings us to our number three spot, and that is special event personalization. Now there's a few things good about what's already provided. Special event right now is Barbarians, which will be coming to an end when the next operation begins, less than two weeks. But they did a few things right. And what they did right with this special event was they included the face paint, the war paint, they included the reactive camo and a new weapon, the Cap 45, all within this event. And those are good things that can also be brought into zombies. But I'm thinking one step above that. The contraband pass as well as the special events need to be zombies focused as well. Keep the zombies just as engaged and the rewards should be reflected in the new special event that's here. So it should be themed according to that special event. And one thing that's missing along with the war paints is gestures. We just don't have emotes here in Zombies, and I know everybody would be loving to do that, and as well as weapon inspection. So we don't have those two features. Those are all grouped together here with the special event personalization contraband. That's what I'd like to see. But this is going to bring us to our number two spot, and this is the in-game pause menu improvements. I'd like to see new features. When I push pause, I want to see my progression and unlocks. I want to be able to look at my challenges. I want to be able to have those two tabs there in my pause menu. I don't care what kind of milk you're drinking. Trayer can say all day that my bottom screen menu progression bar is fixed. That ain't true. It's always negative, a bunch of numbers, and I can't even tell what my actual rank is in game. So this definitely needs to be a fix, and that milk ain't chocolate. So if I want to look at my daily calling, if I want to look at my factions, challenges, whatever they're going to be, if I want to look at my zombie barracks for all my zombie challenges, why can't I do that in game? Why do I have to end the game? Go look at it then in the main menus, then go back into the game. It's such a hassle. It should just be implemented organically into the game. And now we're going to talk about that number one spot, the 800-pound gorilla in the room, Zombie Factions. This is the biggest feature, perhaps, with endgame content that is missing in Black Ops 4 Zombies. 
And this, I believe, is interlinked with weekly callings. The reason we haven't been seeing that yet is because factions is probably going to be the catalyst for bringing this into the game. The only bit of information we've ever got about factions was from Comic-Con in 2018. Jason Blundell and Craig Houston talked about how it would be a new layer to the zombies experience. There would be four different factions and you would choose which side you're going to be with. How are you going to progress along that path and what does it mean as you progress along that path. So it's very confusing because we just don't know and I'm not going to read you the names of what these four were mostly because those could change. They were just placeholders to begin with. So there you have it fellas, there are my five still missing features for endgame content here in Black Ops 4 and I am worried that if they don't get implemented soon into the game the community's just going to decrease even more than what it is right now and the current players that are even glitching in the game which makes up over 80% of the community just aren't glitching really anymore so the community is actually dying out currently in this season of the Black Ops Pass. This isn't something I'm surprised about. It happened during IW Zombies, World War II Zombies. It was just bound to happen at some point. People are getting smarter. And if you watch this video, I like to think that that's you. So be sure to subscribe, activate push notifications, little bell icon at the top of the channel. If you like patch notes, updates, and every now and then a good glitch video or topics like these. I'll see you in the next one. Violin out.